Uh, we are out here uh, in the Zucasa studio, and we are with the Galloping Grace Youth Ranch, along with Albertsons. They've got a very cool program going on. Uh, we've also got goats. Matt's feeding some goats. You'll take a look over here. Matt's actually being friendly with a goat over here. Hello. All right. Uh, so... <laughs> there we go. All right, so uh, we're talking about the Galloping Grace Youth Ranch and a food recovery program. First going on, Max Wade, Josh Staples, uh, you with Albertsons, and uh, Savannah, Angelina, ladies, thank you for joining us this morning. So, Max, first, can you tell us about the Galloping Grace Youth Ranch and all the work that you all do there? You bet. Uh, Galloping Grace Youth Ranch is all about educating kids about uh, agriculture, where our food comes from, getting them hands-on involved with the animals, feeding animals, understanding where our food comes from, the process of developing that, and then what happens with our food, uh, whether where it goes, and then what happens to it after it, uh, uh, some of it gets thrown away. Right, and that's exactly where Albertsons comes in with the food recovery program. Is that right, Josh? Tell us a little bit about this program. Uh, correct. This is uh, um, basically what we do is we recover the food that uh, used to go into um, the trash or, or the landfill, and we basically uh, uh, Max picks it up in our, our, our bins mm -hmm. um, on a daily basis to uh, to feed his animals. So we've mm -hmm. been able to recover that food out of uh, out of the trash, out of the landfill, mm -hmm. um, get it to something that is uh, uh, good, something that's uh, sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a program we, we continue to develop and work on on, on a daily basis. And mm -hmm. we, we take on more and more stores uh, mm -hmm. in our community. And, and uh, um, so it's going, it's going great. Well. That's great. Now, how long have you guys implemented this program? How long has it been going on? Uh, we started this in January. Uh, January? Of this year. Um, mm -hmm. Max and I met at his uh, Christmas tree uh, lot uh, mm -hmm. uh, during the holidays. Um, we bumped into each other, and we actually uh, started thinking about it, put our heads together, and, and this is what we've created uh uh, since then, and uh, um, it's been going fantastic. It's just been getting bigger and bigger. That's great. And, uh, it's been great. That's great. So, um, Savannah, tell us a little bit now. You're you're a youth uh, instructor over at Galloping Grace, is that right? Yes, I'm a youth employee. Okay, a youth employee. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the work that you do there, and really what it does for you to work with these animals and learn about agriculture and farming and sustainability. Yeah. So what I do at the ranch is just. Um, interact with the kids and educate them about the animals that we have um, and the, the programs that we have and just make sure that they have fun at the ranch. Yeah. Um, and for me, I just love, I love kids and I love working with kids. Um, so that's a really positive thing for me to do at the ranch and um, I also love animals and yeah. working with animals as well. That's so. exciting. Angelina, you love animals as well? Yes. Yeah, what is your favorite part of working at the ranch? Um, I would say all the great people and mm -hmm. interacting with the kids. That's great. Do you have a favorite animal? Apparently Matt's is, is goats. He likes the goats. <laughs> I, Matt's taking a selfie with a goat. What, what's your favorite animal to work with, I sweetheart? I like the horses. The horses. I gotta go. I'm gotta. i right there with you. Right there with you. They're going after Matt's suit over here. So, Max, if someone wants to get involved with the Galloping Grace Youth Ranch, they want to get their child involved with it, what's the best way for them to do so? Just go online. Our, our website is uh, ggyr.org. So I said that kind of fast. ggyr.org. Mm -hmm. And then go on there. Um, our summer sessions are closed. We're getting ready to start our pumpkin patch here in October again. Okay. Uh, so we can plug in there, and then we'll be open next summer, mm -hmm. uh, starting in June again. Okay. And so, uh, Josh, this program, the, the food recovery program, we're going to try and keep this going as long as we can with Albertsons. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and that's our plan. We're, we're trying to, uh, like I said, we're, we're, we're continuing to develop it yeah. uh, on an ongoing basis. We're, we're trying to take on more stores. Uh, we wanted to, uh, it's been a fantastic program. Albertsons is very happy with it. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to continue doing it uh, as long as we possibly can and uh, uh, continue, uh, you know, obviously uh, this, some of this, what this does, is it, it, this produce waste has, uh, it goes from uh, uh, Max's ranch, feeds the animals and then hopefully we can create food from the waste. Mm -hmm. um, those animals will then, you know, with, uh, pork and beef uh, possibly be donated to mm -hmm. local food banks um, uh, to help our, our hunger, uh, hunger issue. That's great. Things. That's great. So it really is. I mean, it's it's giving back to the community in Absolutely. so many ways, and Absolutely. that's Multiple, yes. that's a great hey, hey, that's a great right thing back. that Albertsons is doing here. I think the the natives are getting restless over here. The uh, the the goats, the chickens, they're diving into the food here. So for more information on the galloping uh, galloping Grace Goat Ghost Ranch. You're not a ghost ranch. <laughs> galloping Gear Grace <laughs> Youth Ranch. Right. There you go. I am distracted by the goats. It's just goats, goats, goats well, all Matt's morning, folks. Fun, he is. He's having way too much fun. The suit's still intact. That's good. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs>